All right, what we have here is a 2003 Toyota Corolla, the 1.8, and it was brought into the shop for a check engine light on. Uh, scanned the codes, it was a P0505, an IAC code, idle air control. And uh, even though I've already scanned for codes, I'm going to show you uh, how to scan for codes using a uh, Bluetooth dongle setup, which is relatively inexpensive. They can be bought for about $40 online. Work with any smartphone or tablet has Bluetooth capabilities. And it's a low cost, easy way to get into scanning vehicle codes and uh, reading data streams, things like that. And uh, once we scan for codes, I'll show you how to diagnose whether it's a PCM problem, a wiring harness problem, or an actual bad IAC valve. Now first, the uh, dongle, as you can see here, is uh, I got this offline. It's, um, it was about $40, I think $38 plus tax and shipping. And works relatively well. It, as you can tell, it's got a standard OBD2 connector. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the car and turn the key on and uh, let's scan for codes. Okay, the uh, connector is plugged into the vehicle and it takes a few minutes to initialize. Key is on. And I'm going to show you on the phone here. Uh, this is a standard Motorola Android phone. You can tell Bluetooth is turned on. And uh, I have all my repair applications. I know it's probably hard to read. This is not the best camera I have, but uh, I have an app called Torque. T O R Q U E. It's relatively cheap off the store and uh, works extremely well for this kind of work. And what we need to do is come over here to adapter status. And we're going to be waiting for this to turn green. That will tell us that the uh, phone is connected to the connector and that the connector isn't connected to the onboard computer and everybody's talking. So that takes a few minutes. Okay, you can see now all the arrows are green, so we're good. We'll come back out here. And we're going to go to default codes and we're going to scan for codes. This takes about, eh, about 15, 30 seconds. It just depends how many codes there are and, and how long the communication protocol is. And uh, like I said, this is a really nice low-cost way to get into scanning vehicle codes without spending a lot of money. Most people have a smartphone that has Bluetooth capabilities. And uh, so it works out pretty good. All right, you see we have a, one code. And it is indeed a P0505 powertrain idle control system malfunction. So uh, let's go out of that. Let's start the testing. Now the key is on. And the engine, of course, is off, as you notice, you can't hear it. So the first thing we need to go is to the connector for the idle control valve. And I've got the tripod set up here, so you can kind of see that. And let's zoom in. This is your idle control valve. This piece right here. And as you can see, the harness connects right to the front of it. It's easy to get to, which works really well for testing. And you have three wires. You have a power, you have a ground, and you also have a signal wire that the PCM sends a 5 volt reference signal that's square wave to control the dwell on the valve, to control where it is. So the first thing we need to do is we need to test and see if we have power and if we have ground. And you can do this with the engine off and just come down, unplug your connector. And uh, I'm hoping I show it here. Okay, here we go. And I'm hoping you can see that well. And what we need to do is turn our meter on. And let me zoom out a little bit so you can see the meter. Okay, now you can see my voltmeter. And uh, we're going to switch it over to DC voltage. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to test for power and ground. Now the easiest way to do this since this wire, the white with the black stripe, is the ground, we're going to touch our ground lead here. Don't jam it in there because you could damage the, con the connector and you don't want to do that. And the center wire, which is a solid black, is actually your feed. We're going to touch it here. Oh, oh, we're not making good contact. There we go. 12.16 volts. So we have good battery voltage. That means we have a good ground also. And I also like to double check by touching just that and touching the battery negative. 12 volts. 
touch the ground on this. Like I said, you just touch it. Don't try to jam it in there. Touch the battery positive, and we have 12 volts. So that shows us that we have a good ground. We have good power. Now the question is, do we have a signal from the PCM to control the idle valve? So to do this, we need to plug this in and start the vehicle. As you can hear, the vehicle is running, and to test this, I'm going to use a device known as an oscilloscope, or sometimes called a lab scope. This one here is relatively inexpensive. I uh, bought it online. It's a OTC palm scope. It's a really, really inexpensive way to get your hands on a lab scope. Pretty cheap. I think it was like 150, 200 bucks. They don't make them anymore, but they're good for little things. I mean, they won't do a whole lot. Just power up the scope. Of course, I got to go through all the menus. Okay. Zoom out a little bit so you can see the screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a device, a pin, that's called a T-pin. You can see it here. It's a little straight pin with a little T-head on it. And we're going to back probe this connector at the blue and black wire. Okay, we've got that back probe. One lead of your scope. Your black lead is going to go to the battery, negative. And your positive lead is going to go where you attach your key pin. Move the camera around so you can see that a little bit better. You can see that uh, I have my lead connected to the key pin, which is connected to the blue and black wire. And let's see if we have a signal from the onboard computer. We're going to go to lab scope, single channel. We're going to change our reference voltage to 10 volts since it's a 5 volt signal. And we're going to change our time to about 50 milliseconds. And it looks like we got a bad connection. Ah, there we go. That's what I want to see. Let's turn our voltage scale up a little bit so you can see the waveform a little bit better. And that, that is what I want to see. That is a 5 volt reference signal square wave being sent from the computer to the auto control valve to control its speed, control its position, and where it positioning and controls engine speed. And we can see a nice clean square wave. There's no glitches, no problems, nothing that really stands out. Um, that tells us that the valve has power, it has a ground, and it has a reference signal. So that means if the, if the valve has a power, has a ground, and has a proper reference signal, then the wiring and the computer are good, and the valve is bad. Um, We'll have another valve here at the shop tomorrow. We've already ordered one because I've already done this test. But I wanted to show you guys how it works. And uh, I'll probably upload a second video when I get the new valve in and show you the difference. Which There's not much difference on what you see, but you'll hear a huge difference on how the engine runs because right now it's idling at about 12 to 1400 RPM, which is way above what it should be. And uh, well, that concludes testing a Toyota idle air control valve. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.